Hey Binder fans, Jeff here at IH Parts America and today we are going to talk about my 1970 travel all I affectionately call Zeus. So this travel all was a project that I ended up getting a longer than 15 years ago from my basically my brother from another mother Chad we had gone down to Tulare for the Western Regionals I had my white scout he had this travel all he had gotten down I think out of Tracy in a barn find he had a little bit of trouble with the travel all but he kind of fell in love with my scout and wanted to build one so when we got back home we made a deal I had a scout in the back that was in pretty good shape and we basically traded pink for pink on them. I started out with the original 392 V8 that was in it. I made it to one of our CPT NV4500 adapter kits, which has the five-speed overdrive manual transmission. I then mounted a 205 transfer case to the back of that. So there was no more divorced uh, separate drive, third drive shaft or anything like that. It was a mated unit. Um, from a three quarter ton Chevy truck, I grabbed the 14 bolt axle out of it with 456 gears and from some swap meet or something i think in ohio actually i bought this gm dana 60 front axle rebuilt it and put that under the truck so it's got dana 60 up front with disc brakes 456 gears and it's got the uh, gm 14 bolt in the back moved the spring perches and redid the shock mounts got that underneath there and uh, with 456 gears and i think like an eaton locker so it's always done really good got 35 inch goodyear duratrack tires on it and I've always just kind of called it my one ton travel all, but it's, it's nickname, his real name's been Zeus because it's kind of a big travel all. But um, anyways, through the, through the years, you know, would make little changes. It was originally carbureted, then I had Hamilton fuel injection, and then I put a Fitech four barrel uh, throttle body injection on it. It's died a couple times, and when it dies again, I'll probably end up putting a sniper on it. Uh, but I do have like a cold air intake and it does have one of uh, Bill Hamilton's original distributors on it for timing control. Things always run really good. I've, I've taken this truck cross country many, many times. Uh, each sticker on the windshield represents a trip out to the Scout Nationals in Ohio. It's been out to Fort Wayne, I believe once. Um, it's been to Colorado many times, Utah, uh, Oregon. So I, I've kind of had this thing all over. I'd say in about the last 10 years or so that I've been driving it, I've put about 85,000 miles on it. Um, it is still, even though I have the F350, which handles the majority of the towing duties these days, I still daily drive this baby all the time. It, it's probably driven four out of five work days a week, plus any weekends. This is my go-to truck whenever I'm, I'm doing anything around town or just going anywhere. It just has all my stuff in it and ready to go. And anyways, it just can never be beat. The interior is still, obviously, as you can see, really original. In fact, the seats are starting to tear a little bit, and it's probably time to get some fresh upholstery on, on a couple of those. I'll have to order the material. But um, it's all original, as you can tell, and, and I do have a third row seat for this thing, too, that's original to it. So when I got extra gas, pop in that third row seat, and boom, we are trucking along with the whole three generations of family, which we've done in this thing going to Colorado. Uh, for comfort on the travel all, when I went to go originally build it, I'd sprayed lizard skin in the interior, put real thick insulation all through it. The carpet kit has the matte backing on it. So in the end, that, that insulation is really thick and with a good modern AC system, still using the factory under dash components, but everything up front under the hood is all new on the air conditioning. It just stays super comfortable in there in the hottest of desert days. So with the NV4500 transmission in there, I mean, this thing will literally do, you know, 85 miles an hour down the highway all day long at, at like a nominal 27, 2800 RPM. It just makes for a nice long cruiser. Our full size lift kit that we offer for, for these IH trucks and travel alls was developed on this vehicle. So it still has the original kit with rough country springs front and back. The current setup, I have it because I do change this thing around it to experiment, but the current setup that I've had actually for quite a while, it has six inch lift GM rough country springs in the back. They come from a 73 to 87 a Chevy truck and uh, there's no lift block in there and I've got Bill Stein shocks front and back, of course, on it. For the front, it has a rough country, same model year, 73 to 87 
uh, four inch lift springs and I actually do have a leaf taken out. Um, with the ride that it currently has, still a little on the rough side. My next step up on this thing is to put some Skyjacker springs up front that I've been saving for quite a few years now. Uh, one of these days I'll get around to the old dog and get that done. Also under the suspension, we have some CPT sway bars front and back that helps keep the sway, you know, pretty, pretty good on the corners. Part of the rear suspension, I also have airbags in the back that has on-demand air. So as I'm towing, and I feel like the rear end squatting or moving around too much. I just hit a button right next to my leg and brrr, there goes the air compressor and I can pump them bags up as much as I need. I usually run around 20 pounds in them, um, but when I'm towing, I've had as much as 60 or 70 pounds in the back of those airbags. For the steering, I also have a PSC Ram Assist on it, which really helps turn these bigger 35 inch tires with the original push-pull steering system. Part of the fuel system, I ended up getting rid of the dual tanks that were on the travel all and ended up putting a single 40 gallon fuel tank in the very back. It was actually originally like a 50 gallon-ish tank for a military blazer. Um, I'd gotten years ago from the old IH to Larry show, um, chopped the back half of it up and made some brackets and made it fit. So again, it holds 40 gallons and we can go pretty long ways when even getting a paltry 10 miles per gallon out of it. To keep this thing quiet, I've got on the exhaust system a full two and a half inch system that has an X in the middle of it to help quiet down the, the noise coming from this powerful 392 engine. It's going into a set of Dynamax mufflers and exiting out the back. As a truck overall, like I said, it, it is my main vehicle. I love driving it, hop in it, turn on the retro sound radio that's in it and i can just drive this thing all day long i've literally put over a thousand miles in one day on this truck and like i said it's just always a blast to drive to stop at gas stations to talk to people so anyways this is our truck zeus and um, like i said this is like one of the main trucks of, of our fleet so hope you like this video we'll have another one here on one of our trucks or a customer rig here soon if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do so and if you like this video please let us know We'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody.